In today's vast and often complicated world of dating, a good man can be hard to find. Hello? Can anyone hear me? But then, just when you accept you're probably gonna die alone, he shows up. How often do you work on this physique? Were you what? doing push-ups in the... No, I don't work out. Five, six, seven. I mean, let's not lie, ladies, okay? I'm staring at it, I'm like, ooh, chest, arms, abs. Star of Bravo's Workout New York, Noah Neiman is no doubt a sight for sore eyes. But can he muscle through when it really counts? 100. Do you think you could survive here in the wilderness? Yeah, I think so. I think we got this. <laughs> You ready for this? I'm ready, let's go. Oh, but, um, oh. We're gonna do it again. No, we have all day to work on it. We do? All right, oh. let's go. <laughs> While Noah thinks he can simply charm me off my feet, here at North Camp Survival School, three rules separate us from thriving to barely surviving this date. Survival Camp, we learn primarily the rules of three. You can live for three days without water and three weeks without food. Three minutes with severe bleeding or without breathing. You can live for about three hours with exposure to the elements, hypothermia or heat stroke. After you've accepted and understand the rules of three, you're gonna set survival priorities. What does this have to do with first well, day of the bandana? Say, okay. She's cut right here. Oh. Okay. Noah, what are you going to do? You got to kiss it. Put this on. Sorry. I'm sorry. Stop the bleeding. No, that's, oh. that's sorry. Stop that's not a boo-boo. Wrap. Okay. Come right on top. Oh, see, you're a pro and knot tire. a square knot. You want that to be directly over the cut. It gives it more compression. And this would save me. That would, it would prevent the bleeding. You got a broken leg. Down on the ground. <gasps> oh. oh, no. Oh. So Ashley, take the sleeping pad, unroll it. It's all about improvisation, seeing things for what it can be, not just for what it is. Fold it in half. Yes. And slide it right up to his crotch. Oh, on the first uh, date. Ashley, I like the way this is going. Ashley, we need Ashley. your bandana. Well, I like it's, it's my steez right now. Slide a bandana right under here. All right, easy now. He's got a broken leg. All right, leg. it's broken. <laughs> just manhandling me okay. with my broken leg. And, and tie it. Go right over left, left over right. Right over left. You thought this was a strap or a belt. I did. It's gonna work perfectly. And pull it nice and tight. Tight. Ooh. All right, all right. Boom. That's a good look. Noah just fell into the lake. The lake is maybe 50 degrees. Is he gonna get hypothermic if we don't do something about it? Yep. Wet clothes off, sleeping bag on. You might have to get in that sleeping bag with him. Let's oh. go. Shared warm bottle. We're like a I love it. Nacho cheddar burrito. Come on in. Extra caliente. Come on. We're no. Don't put it over your face. No, 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 no don't no, put it over your face. Three it. minutes without breathing. Three, Three minutes. minutes. Oh my god. It's cool. I only I, I only need two. Hypothermic. <laughs> <laughs> Maintaining a positive attitude is essential to surviving any date night situation. And so is teamwork. Nature provides it if you know how to use it and not abuse it. Look at all the resources out here. Make a shelter. So do you see that? That's like a natural canopy. So if we put stuff over branches this. over that, we can cuddle. We can snuggle. We can totally. We cuddle. can set the TV up right here. You don't even need help. No. I can do this. How come you're carrying like the big logs exactly. and I'm sitting there grabbing the little twigs? I mean, we've got this backwards, honey. Oh, all right. Show off those muscles, baby. I got you. There you go. This is a duplex. <laughs> you tear down a tree? <laughs> okay, so how do we do, Steve? Pretty good. I think you got a ways to go, though. While this date is certainly heating up, as with any romance, the real challenge is keeping the spark alive. Starting a fire isn't as difficult as keeping the fire going. So you want to collect a lot more firewood than you think you need. We're going to start with small dry stuff known as um, tinder and we're going to get some kindling and fuel. Tinder? Steve's on tinder. Steve, you on tinder? Come on, I'm on tinder. I like it, tinder, <laughs> Steve. <You> ready? <laughs> Steve wants the tinder. Go. Let's right. go. There's a lot of volatile oils in birch bark. Wow. All right, so let's just take some of the white bark up. If it breaks and snaps, you know it's dry. So find some stuff no bigger than this. <laughs> Just hold that, hold that bark. I got it, oh, okay. I got it. All right, we got enough to get going. Yeah? This is Phragmites. This grows everywhere, in marine environments, in aquatic environments, wherever it's wet. Flint and steel. Right in the Phragmites. Spark up that Phragmites. You think that's flammable? Whoa! Flame on. Is that flammable? 
That's yeah, that's some flamage. All right. You thought that was a bandana. That's cotton. That would burn, too. It would mess my outfit up, I though. Noah and I learned a lot on this date, especially the importance of always having your partner's back, no matter what challenges you face. Now that we got a little alone time, you want to head back to the shelter? Should we and do it? I think you should. Oh, God, Steve. No, Steve's not here. Let's do it. All right, let's go to the shelter. Okay. Mm -hmm.